So, hi everyone, my name is Nuno Teixeira and uh, we are going to do the part 2 of uh, robot structural analysis, making the change. We are going to model columns in the beams, so let me change to robot. Now we are going to orient our view to a plan view, okay, we just press the 2D here and uh, select the height will be story 1. So now let's press the new section definition okay the section type will be steel the material will be the material that we defined in the previous video and now i'm going to select the section database aesc14 very good i'm going to define a hollow square section 5 by 5 by 1 quarter inch 5 by 5 by 0 0.25 over here okay so I'm going to add this I'm also going to add a W12 by 19 cross section okay let me very good over here and also a just going to push this a bit to the left side and also 18 by 35 should be around here okay let me add that and also another hollow square section 6 by 6 by 1 quarter inch which is over here precisely and now we need to get a 14 key one joist and add it to our cross section so now you you need to go to the section type click joists joist girder okay and now select the K series and select the 14 key one okay we are going to leave the max deflection as it is. I'm going to press add. And there we go. And now I'm going to close. Now let's start the placement of the column. I'm going to close this. Geometry menu. Columns. Column 1. Number 1. Step 1. Section type. Still column. This is the section that we want with the default material that we have defined. OK. And the beginning will be the beginning will be 0 0 14 this column will have a height of 14 feet and the orientation will be down so this is the beginning point and it will go down 14 feet okay let's press add now we need to click to place columns at each grid intersection has shown here you may see like this okay very good let me switch to 3d we got the first one over here I'm going to close this and also this the best way to do is by copy also you've got the the support define let me go to geometry uh, edit edit move or copy I want to copy, I'm going also to turn only the structural axis here on the snap settings and uh, this is the first vector okay very good now we need to define the steel beams okay let's hit geometry and beams we need to define a steel beam I want this 18 by 35 beam cross-section very good and we are going to define the beams in this way okay I want to drag over here over here press escape over here over here press escape over here and over here very good and now we need to place 
the other beams here and here press escape here here and here press escape here here and here very good let's check if we've got the nodes yes I think it's well defined let me close this And if you go to the plan view, you may see the cross sections defined here. Okay. So thank you for watching. Um, in the next video, we will start by defining the joists. So I would say please subscribe and uh, give this video a like. It will help me a lot. And uh, once again, thank you for watching.